no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. So we are back here, back planting right where we left off yesterday. Um, again, I apologize for the short video. I just was on a time crunch yesterday. But today, I'm not as much. In fact, I'm actually hoping to get quite a few videos recorded today if possible. Um, but that is all going to depend. Um little update I was talking with the creator of this map uh, and he let, told me that uh, he had released a version of this map that is seasons mod uh, ready and I thought I had that version but I had the one just before it so I'm actually not running the most updated version of the map but in order to do that that would mean that I would lose all of this planting progress that I've done so I think I'm just gonna stick to this map or to this um, you know this version of the map for now and then maybe after harvest when all the crop is harvested and stuff well I don't know how well that would work either I don't know we'll probably just stick to this um, I did find a way to be able to keep the bales um, after you know like instead of having them disappear uh, it just requires running over the hay with a tether so nothing major there uh, that you know I can't do uh, it will be pretty pretty easy it's just one more pass and uh, I'm actually gonna be changing up a little bit of the equipment for the haying uh, instead of the, instead of the butterfly mowers I'm gonna get up um, a swather and then uh, and we'll get the tether as well. Uh, I didn't put the swather in game yet. I realized that when I fired up the game, but that is quite all right. Uh, we don't really need it yet, anyways, so we're in no dire need of it. Uh, and then a little bit more on, uh, you know, I was talking about uh, making a new map as well. Uh, I am going to do that. Originally, I was thinking of doing like a 16 times map and doing North Dakota, South Dakota, and Montana. But 16X does not really like to run very well on my computer in Giants Editor, uh, I found. So then I was gonna do a 4X, but I really, you know, I, there, it was impossible to get all three states. So then I was just gonna do two, but that didn't really work. And so now what I've decided on is I'm just gonna take uh, pick a random place somewhere in North Dakota and take the DEM terrain from that area and then build a map just from my own imagination just put it together in a way that I'd like to see it and just go from there uh, I do wanna I'm probably gonna make some custom buildings for it and stuff as well uh, just to you know kinda mess around and blender some but uh, yeah so I'll decide on a name and all that stuff. Um, I haven't started it yet. I'm not exactly sure when I will. Uh, this weekend. Well, today's Thursday. Today's not Friday. Today's Thursday. Today is only the tenth. Hmm. My alarm clock is a day ahead for whatever reason. Anyway, so today is Thursday, and um, tomorrow we're going to the farm. We have a family reunion this weekend. Uh, that's on Saturday. So we'll be going up for that, and then, uh, I don't know, maybe... Uh, well, we're all done with hay for the year, so I'm not sure what what will be going on. Maybe hauling some hay, so I am going to take the GoPro in case we do anything interesting and get some footage of it, but... Otherwise, I'll be up there, so really not going to get it. Probably not going to start on the map until next week, uh, sometime. So, but that's okay, I guess. It definitely will be a pretty good map. I hope. <laughs> I mean, the way that I imagine it, it will be. But will it turn out that way when I'm done with it? Maybe. Maybe not. 
Who knows? Yeah, I definitely wouldn't even have half of this field. You know, half of what we have done right now. We wouldn't even have half... Okay. What we have done right now, we wouldn't even have half of that done if we were using the John Deere planter. I mean, that guy is still even going pretty strong over there. Uh, he is going to need seed pretty soon. What on earth? Are you... What? Are you kidding me? That is nowhere near where you should be going. At least that's coming down. Why in the world this guy started going around again? That's ridiculous. So he is almost out of seed. So we need to grab our truck with seed. Fill that up. I wonder if this scale is actually functioning. Whoa! What the world? The steering is going all kinds of wonky on right now. 13,000 534. Oh, but that's just a number on there. Nope, maybe not. Oh, the trigger just goes quite a ways. That's right. I remember that now. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it is where. Yeah, I do remember that now that the uh, trigger does go quite a ways on that, so. I do also need to do some other miscellaneous testing here sometime. Um, on like the uh, CCM mod I don't remember exactly what it stands for exactly but uh, I do need to do some testing on that and see um, just how it works I haven't messed with it at all yet so kind of interested to see just how it is We're getting a lot of color on the map now uh, evidently that was corn at one point. And that one was what? Soybean. So yeah, um, 1, 2, 4, 12, 13, 14, and 41 are all going to be wheat. Um, let's see, this little cluster here from 27 down, I'm probably going to put that all into corn. Uh, this I'll probably put into soybeans, so this entire area here will not be planted yet. Uh, this I'll probably do in sunflowers. These probably sorghum, and then these probably rye. I think that's how I'll uh, set things up there. And we are going to need to stop this guy here in a moment. I'm just going to stop him and refill him while I'm here. I'm not going to wait. Of course it won't let me do it. What in the heck? Okay. Well, let's get this thing refilled here. Let's see if I can get it straightened out. I don't know why it's trying to do that. That's stupid. We're going to have to find out here in a moment. Of course, the truck shut off. I hate that. It's kind of annoying that the trucks keep shutting off. Or anything that it just, if you leave it for like 30 seconds even, it'll shut off. It's kind of annoying, but this is what it is, huh? Alright, so get this guy filled up.
Okay, and we'll just pull the truck right over here, shut her down. Oops, wrong button. Okay, so let's go like that, go like that. What in the world is he doing? Drive forward. There. That's so difficult. This guy going. Doing pretty well over there. And we will get back to rolling as well. Yeah, I'm kind of interested to see how the uh, CCM mod works. Maybe that'll be, I can, my first mod project for 17 can be something to do with that thing. Maybe like a grinder, feed mill or something. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I always wanted to mess with it, but I've been kind of jumping around a lot in s maps and stuff, trying to find one that I like and a way that I like things. So, but I think I'm just going to, you know, fire up some random map, whether it's Gold Crest or a modded map or whatever, and just combine some corn. And uh, I probably wouldn't use Seasons mod just to make things a little bit faster, and just plant some corn. If there, you know, if the map that I pick doesn't have stuff planted already, that is. Um, but you know, combine it and try it out. I'm also kind of curious to see if you can feed it to cattle or not. Uh, you know, use it as like silage or something or grain maybe I don't know like I said I've yet to mess with it so not exactly the most knowledgeable about it at the moment so yeah, after we finish this field we will plant 13 and then once course play is done on 41 I'll put that on 12 and once we finish 13 we'll go to 14 and then we'll put that guy on number one, and then we'll move on to the next crop. Which we should be able to plant everything. Yeah, we can plant everything but uh, soybeans and corn. Well, technically on here, we can plant corn. But we're going to do all the crops that we can plant with the seed hawk here first. And then we'll move on to uh, crops with the DP planters. And I kind of want to check on this guy because I want to see what kind of stupidity it's up to now. Okay, okay so he's turning around like he should. A little bit sharper than he probably should, but... Okay, drop it, turn it on. What the heck? Why? Like, really? What's it doing? Is it seriously like turning? Or what the heck is going on here? Turn! You're gonna hit a tree! Turn! What? Uh 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 uh. You're not done. What in the world is going on with this stupid thing? I don't have return to last point activated, do I? Okay, maybe we will have to finish planting this field. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just... Screw it. We'll fold this thing. We're going to get it the heck out of the way and just leave it. Because I'm not going to mess with it. I cannot babysit it. So, heck with it. We'll just pull it off right here. 
shut it down and leave it. Because I am not going to deal with that thing. No, thank you. set up like a GPS line or something <laughs> instead of just free free driving it but oh well we're over half well we're about halfway done at least with this field so maybe it's not too late to set something up let's, let's figure this out here let's go we're gonna do a little bit of overlap actually a lot of overlap but Really? That's the best you got. Okay, we'll just roll with it, I guess. For now. We'll just get things set up. And our lines and whatnot. I should have done this a long time ago and it wouldn't have been it wouldn't be so goofy. Definitely a big tank for seed. So what we're gonna do is we'll go until it's you know, not planting anything anymore. And then we'll just turn around and we'll skip over a couple passes skip maybe two so we'll go to the second pass so we're almost done with this pass here so we'll just hit up and then we'll skip skip over one go to the second pass and then go down Once we get locked on, I'm going to write down what I'm putting in what field so I don't forget and make up a totally new idea again. And then I'll get it all transferred over to Google Sheets and uh, get everything written up, or typed up I guess I should say. Get everything typed up, get all of our info written down so we can uh, figure out do things, or what we'll, not how we'll do things, but what we're going to have for, you know, storage, restored crops, and all that fun stuff, I don't even need this piece anymore, so it can come out, So I'm still undecided on how much of this wheat I want to actually bale. Because, I mean, I do want to bale quite a bit. So that way we can have plenty of straw. But then again, I don't want to be baling all of these fields. So I'm thinking doing 2 and 4. And then maybe 14. And that should give us plenty of straw. Um, I do actually need to do a little edit to the map as well. Uh, the two quonsets that are in the yard, uh, I want to use those to store bales in. But one of them has a bale destroy trigger in, basically where you sell your bales. So I need to remove that. And that way we can store the bales in there because I don't plan to sell any bales. So, so we have wheat. Let's see, we're going to do wheat, corn... Wheat, corn, soybeans. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six areas. Stupid email thing. So 
we got six areas. So wheat, corn, soybeans, sunflowers, oats, and Milo. Okay, so one, two, four. 14. Corn, we are doing 15, 16, 17, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, 20, 21, 22, 23, 26, 27. Those are all smaller fields, so that's why I'm doing a lot of cornfields. Uh, 34 to 40 is going to be beans. 4, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. And then we're going to do... Let's see, we're going to do... 5, 6, 10, and 18 as sunflowers. So then that'll leave 11, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33 in oats. And that leaves us with 3, 7, 8, and 9 in Milo. Man, it took an entire pass to write all that up. No big deal though, I guess. It's all written up, so that's all that matters, I guess. It's gonna take a nice big wide turn, because no hurry to uh, drop the planter down at all. No stuff here for a little bit. Curious to see how much he's got done over there. Quite a bit. We have quite a bit done in this field as well. Right, right there is where we need to be. See how uh, eventually we'll have all of our field edge paths uh, recorded. And so once we do, we can, uh, in fact, actually, uh, between an episode sometime, I'll go around and record all the field edges, uh, and then just sit and make courses for everything. Uh, I'll probably do that, uh, in a video or something. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll just take in a, take a video. Well, no, we're going to lose a bunch of time on other stuff. Some way, sometime, some point, I will sit and get all of the field edges recorded and get uh, courses made for you know, all the seed hawks, all of the sprayers, just in case I need to do something else when spraying. So basically for every single thing, almost, uh, for the most part. So, you know, like our cedars, our combine, the grain cart, uh, the trucks I'm going to run. So, uh, because the with the uh, with the auger, you know, of course, play would not really play nice with that. I'm sure, because that's how course play is. So, uh, what are we doing on our time here? Twenty-four. Okay. Currently 61, high for tomorrow 66, 57, 69, 57. So, upper 50s to upper 60s for the most part. We got 70 on Monday, next week. I do really like this season's mod. That is probably my, my favorite thing that is in this game.
We'll definitely have a lot of tillage in the spring slash fall, I guess. Let's see if I can try and get all of this at once without having to turn around and go back for it. Uh, I skipped a little bit, but I'm not even going to fuss over it. Heck with it. Just forget it. It's a couple spots. We've got plenty of wheat land. I don't think we're going to be hurting any. Not that we even need the money, really, either. But. I suppose I probably could have just done it as a loan. I don't know if I could have taken out enough loan for it, though, but. I wish that that actually worked. Well, it almost looks like a TV, actually. Wait, does this? No, oh, it doesn't. Darn it. I thought maybe those actually moved. But I wish that that was like a monitor and you could like watch behind you. It'd be kind of neat if that actually worked. but unfortunately it does not. <sighs> Let's take a peek at our other guy here once. Oops, that was the wrong direction. He's chugging right along here. Got a pretty good sized field over here for this one. And again with the turning off. There's got to be a setting. Hmm. Call it series save game, I guess. We don't want the, end. the whatever the heck that thing is, where it uh, if you turn the wheel, it just stays that way, and then you can turn it straight. You could turn the wheel the other, you know, leave the wheel straight, but it wouldn't do anything. Ah, that's a hazard. definitely does light up though hey you look it's got like a camera on the back of it there so you'd think that it would have cameras or something it's kind of funny that these hydraulic hoses aren't actually attached to this tractor as well I don't think I'd be folding this planter and lifting and raising a whole lot if those were uh, detached so it's kind of annoying Should actually be coming up. Yes, we are. Okay. So, uh, that is going to do it for this video. I am basically going to get this video put into Shotcut, get it edited quick, and get it exporting, and I'll start recording the next one right away. Um, and do that for a few videos here. But that is going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a video. Be sure to check out down below in the description. I got my PC specs down there. The uh, schedule to which I upload videos. Uh, I am also going to throw down the link for the Facebook page for the creator of this map. Uh, you can go check that out and get the latest version of this map if you have not already. Uh, I also have links to my social medias down there as well as some other cool YouTube channels that are definitely worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.